fight number six out of 13. And if you're just tuning in, you miss a lot of action, but you also have a lot coming up as we are making our way to the top of the card and the main event between Alex Gilpin and Nick Compton right now. We move up in weight class to 170 pounds and take a look at Jacob Jossert fighting out of Title Town MMA as a little bit bigger fighters right now. He comes in at 5'10", 170 as we take a look at the Carbon World Health tail of the tape. He's going to be taking on Nelly Thompson. Let's take a look at Nelly right now. Now we got Nelly coming to the ring. This one looks to be a good fight. Both fighters coming in in fantastic shape here. Gotta say that uh, Josh Derry does a great job of putting these fights together. Two prime fighters heading to the cage right now. Nelly Thompson and Jacob Jossert. And let's Get the introductions from Chris Garrity. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our sixth bout of the evening is an amateur welterweight contest scheduled for three rounds. Introducing first, this man fighting out of the Coliseum Bar Red Corner. He stands in at five foot nine inches tall. He weighs 169 and one half pounds. He represents Title Town Mixed Martial Arts and Rufus Ford Green Bay. He hails from Green Bay, Wisconsin, and is making his cage debut, Jacob Chaucer. His opponent, this man, standing across the cage and fighting out of the Harley Davidson of Madison Moore Corner. In four amateur bouts, he has three victories. One of those victories comes by way of knockout. He stands in five foot nine inches tall. He weighed in 169 and one half pounds from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and representing Pura Vida, ladies and gentlemen, Nelly Thompson. A lot of support here at the Monona Terrace for Nelly Thompson fighting out of Milwaukee. Jacob Jossert from Green Bay. We are in the welterweight division right now, 170 pounds, and ready to get it on here in this amateur fight scheduled for three rounds. And coming out quickly is Jossert as he is making his debut here today and he is representing title town mma when you see title town mma on the card what does that mean to you well those green bay guys up there at title town eric chang and those boys actually gerald here is much more familiar with those guys who used to train up with some of them and this guy also represents rufus sport green bay so gerald have you had any experience with uh josser do you know much about him i actually did get to train with him a little bit a real strong wrestler you know it's his first fight so he's a little more green on the feet but as you can see he's not scared to get in there and scrap looking for that takedown right now doesn't seem to be too shook by the big lights and you know those boys at title town they do a good job getting fighters ready as we see josser score the double leg got the takedown and a good right to the side of the head of thompson but thompson getting back on his feet right now, we have definitely seen that Jossard has been the aggressor so far here in round number one. And he's fighting a guy in Nelly Thompson with good experience. Four fights, he comes from a good school, the Pura Vida guys out of Milwaukee who have two UFC fighters right now. So, I mean, this guy trains with some of the best that are out there in Milwaukee, but I gotta say, like Gerald had previously stated, he's not afraid of Thompson at all, and you can see he's going after him right here. Coming right in on Thompson, but then Thompson able to counter with a right hand, and that back jostled up as some good counter shots again once again from Nelly Thompson. And Thompson right now trying to get some control, but it is pushing forward Jossard, who is on top of Thompson. Jossard very aggressive here in round number one. Yeah, you can see that wrestler's mentality. He just keeps going forward, not afraid of punches. He got stung with a good one, but came right back in, getting to those legs, trying to establish some control. Uh, you can see he's getting a little bit used to MMA rolls here trying to keep a guy pinned against the cage. It's sometimes a little easier for them to get up, but Nelly no slouch. You know, I've seen him fight before. Definitely a tough guy, as Chris was saying. Thompson right now, you see that left eye may be bothering him a little bit. He took a couple of shots there before finally putting his hand up to try and block the right hands of Jossard. So now they square off 
in the center of the cage. Thompson and Jossard, and Jossard so far seems to have the better of Thompson, but there's and a that's, good left. And that's the second left hand that has buckled Jossard a little bit. You're going to have to watch that because as much pressure as he put on Thompson so far in the first round, he's flat-footed now, and now yep. he's really hurt, Rich. He is in trouble as Thompson, a good job of landing his straight left hand, then he comes back with a combination, a right, and now he is landing blows on top of Jossard, who is covering up and in some trouble here in the first round. He Spider. might be saved by the bell here, Rich, because he is in a lot of trouble still. Thompson getting the better of Jossert right now as he was able to drop Jossert with some good right hands. Jossert comes out of it with a bloody nose. We'll see if he could survive round number two here in the Chosen Few on 57 Sports. You know, sometimes you don't like to speculate on injuries, but taking a look at Jossard, he might have a broken nose here as he goes into round number two. As you take a look at some of the action from round number one, Jossard was aggressive, but Thompson did a great job of countering. And by the way he ended that first round, not only taking those shots, he looked like he had gassed himself out a little bit by pushing so hard and coming out so fast in the first. Gerald's going to be able to speak a little bit more to this. What have you seen from his body language right now? He's still a little wobble-legged, Gerald. Yeah, I agree with your assessment, Chris. I think he gassed him up a little bit, shooting all those takedowns against the fence. Nelly's a strong guy. It's hard to take a guy down like that when they got a cage helping him stay up on their feet. We'll see if he had enough time to recover on the stool here. Well, he's coming out aggressive once again, landing some blows on Thompson, but Thompson able to clench up and then breaks out with a knee. And so a good left once again. And that seems to be the real winner there for Thompson is that left hand so far that it's connected a few times. And he's going straight down the pipe with that and landing almost every time. So Johnson's going to have to figure out how to take him down. I just don't know if he's got enough in the tank to do it. He's Good a little left timid out. right now on the feet. Like you said, he's a little bit gassed out. He's comfortable when he's shooting and wrestling. He still looks a little bit uncomfortable in there on his striking defense. But, you know, it's something we see with a guy in his first fight. Big Boy. hematoma on that left orbital, too. Yeah, just going to say that along with that bloody nose and Jossard, I believe, in all kinds of trouble right now. He's still game. He is fighting back, but he has taken a ton of punishment from Thompson. Thompson shuffling back, doing a good job of striking, and he seems very comfortable to let this fight go back to the center of the cage. I'm actually a little surprised Thompson isn't more aggressive, and again, he's, he's mouth breathing also, so his gas tank could be running a little low. He's a put together guy, so that lactic acid is built up by this point too, but there, he just threw some big time right hands, but uh, it might be that pick your shot time for him. And there's that left and a left again, and another one as Thompson continues to punish Jossard with good left hands, but Jossard, boy, he is fighting back strong, and we are seeing good action here in round number two. Yeah, that if I'm right Nelson, hand just I, missed, Gerald. Just missed. If I'm Nelson, I'm sitting back. He's landing that jab all night long. I'd sit back and just land the jab and wait for that big shot. Jossard needs to keep pushing forward. He needs to move his head side to side and find an opening, maybe throw a big overhand to look for that takedown as he just did. Is secure that leg, get the takedown. He's got to do some damage, do some real damage on top to swing this fight in his favor. Now he got caught with a knee to the face there, did Jossard, as he tried for the takedown after fainting a right. And boy, his face right now is beaten up pretty bad. Thompson definitely looks like he has taken less punishment in this one. As aggressive as Jossard has been, it has been the striking of Thompson that is winning the day. And Thompson just had him hurt again, and he didn't pounce right away, although it might not matter here. He just buckled him two times in a row. Jossard's in trouble. And then a knee as well, and Jossard, though, continues to stand on his feet, amazingly so, because he has taken some shots here tonight by Thompson does a good job of sweeping the leg and getting a takedown. Yeah, Josser definitely showing his toughness in this fight, but as you can see, Nelly doesn't want to get too close because this is what happens, but as of late, 
Josser not being able to do any real damage needs to get in that position a lot earlier in the round and definitely will need to finish here in the third. This Josh is where your corner work is going to be important on how they fix his face up and get his spirits going for round three. Josser in trouble. We'll see how he comes back in round number three. That is next. Stunt 57 Sports. Tell you what, fellas, we've gone up to the welterweight division here, and we have seen some good action and some hard shots delivered by both fighters. These are big, put-together, long welterweights. Obviously, Thompson has gotten the better of the striking, but Jossard's shown he can take a punch. I'm just not sure he's going to be able to end this fight in round three to take home the win. So far, it has been the left hand of Thompson that has done the most damage, although he has had some combos as well. Both guys seem to be breathing pretty hard as a doctor now, Nestor Rodriguez, taking a look at Mr. Jossert right now. And, yeah, he's, uh, he's got some problems with that left eye, doesn't he? Definitely a hematoma there, a lot of swelling. Uh, I think he'll be okay to finish the third round, but always better to have the doctor's opinion in check. That was his third peripheral check in a row. I'm not sure here. So Dr. Rodriguez taking a look as he brings the fingers in and taking a look at the site for Josser. Yeah, he's not going to let him and, go. Yep, that is going to do it. I don't think he can see. His face is swelled up pretty good. That is it. The doctor calling the fight, putting a stop to this after the second round as Josser did not uh, pass the eye test, if you will, of Dr. Rodriguez. I want to talk a little bit about this. You'll hear the crowd boo in the background, and some people might be upset. But let's remember, this is an amateur fight. These guys are not being paid in here. Safety of these fighters, it's what's first. Dr. Rodriguez is a guy who's been in the cage a long time, knows what he's doing. It was the right call, even if the crowd doesn't love it. Absolutely. So we will have Chris give you the official word in the cage right after this as the doc puts a stop to this one between Thompson and Jossard. We'll have the call next on 57 Sports. All right, back out of Monona Terrace. Let's go up to Chris for the announcement of this last fight. Dr. Nestor Rodriguez puts a stop to this one as Jacob Jossert could not pass the peripheral eye test, and that means that Nelly Thompson improves to four and one in an action-packed, bloody welterweight fight here in the Chosen Few Fighting Championships. All right, we'll take a short time out. When we come back, we'll take a look at Rob Lee and Mario Velez Jr. It is fight number seven of 13 on the Chosen Few Fighting Championships on Wisconsin's 57 Sports.